Hi there, Sandra here and welcome to a new gouache brand review. For today's video, I'm gonna review my Mary Fine Gouache Colors, which in Italian is named Tempera Fine. If you are new to my channel, my name is Sandra, I'm Swiss and I live in Switzerland and my mother tongue is Italian. I live near Italy border, so I bought this paint directly in a store in Italy. Actually, I wasn't sure if to make this review also in Italian, if to include an Italian review in this video or make a separate video as I speak English on my channel, so I decided to at least add Italian subtitles in this video. So, quindi, se sei italiano o italiana e sei interessato a sapere più informazioni sulla tempera mai meri fine, in questo video ci sono i sottotitoli in italiano. So, let's get started! As always, first I will share some basic information about the brand and the gouache. My Mary is an Italian brand and this paint is made in Italy. My Mary has two lines of gouache, but here I have the fine gouache line, which is the one I was able to find near where I live. I haven't tried the extra fine line yet, but I would love to one day if I ever get a chance to buy it. So my review will be based just on the fine line, which from the description I've read on my Mary website, I couldn't really understand the exact difference among the two, so I'm not entirely sure, but from what I could see from the quality and this line being more on the affordable side, I assumed that the fine line is more of a student quality grade. While the extra fine line I think has a better quality and is an artist quality grade, at least this is what I could tell from the reviews on YouTube about the extra fine line, which I will leave the link to the videos I watched in the description if you're interested to check them out. Then I wanted to mention that I'm not a really fan of this tube package. It turns a little to my fingers to unscrew the cap to open the tubes because the cap is not smooth but it has this sort of... Um, I'm not sure how to describe it <laughs> but other than that the tubes are good quality and sturdy and you will see that some of the tubes I have aren't in the best condition because I have some of them from several years which I occasionally used in some of my paintings in the past like this one, the cyclamen from one of my botanical flower from my 2019 calendar, which I have the painting process video if you're interested to watch it, and I will leave the link to the video in the description. And I also gave this gouache to kids in some of my after school classes that I used to hold at the elementary school where I live before the pandemic happened. But a few months ago I bought some new colors for this review, so here it is. So on the tubes and on my Mary website, we can find detailed information regarding this paint. So my Mary is definitely a professional brand that offer great quality paint overall. So not only about gouache, they also have acrylic, oil and I've personally tried their watercolors in the past, which I enjoyed. Although, regarding this fine gouache line in the specific, I can definitely tell this is a more student quality grade because these colors aren't very covering. Even though on the tubes all these colors are labeled as opaque, but I'm sorry my Mary, but they are not really opaque. It doesn't seem so, to me at least. Especially yellows and rose colors are more transparent to begin with. I mean, it's not a big deal. But I'm just surprised that all these colors that I have at least are labeled as opaque when not all of them are opaque. From just watching these colors that I have, aside lemon yellow, to me they are quite dull colors. My camera might not show how these colors really look like in person, but if I was saying in one of my previous gouache review video that the colors from Dale Rovne designer gouache don't seem to be the brightest, these look even more dull. And moreover, the color seems to have a dark pigmentation. At least this is the impression they give me when swatching these colors as they are straight off the tube and when laid opaque. 
because when swatching these colors thin and more transparent by adding some water, the vibrancy of this color shines through, which is definitely interesting to me how differently they look between thin and opaque. But just because colors are duller, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. As myself, I like to work with more muted colors. But I personally prefer colors that are vibrant, which then I can make them dull if I want. And the consistency of this paint feels a bit chalky straight off the tube, but it's not difficult to dilute the paint and get a more creamy consistency. So just from these watches, they might not seem the best quality, but I never base my reviews just from these watches. I have to paint something and use the paint as I usually work with gouache to really understand the quality of the gouache brand I'm using. Always keep in mind that with my reviews, this is my personal opinion, perspective and my personal way to work with gouache, where I use gouache both thin and thick, but I tend to use it more thin and I use a lot of white, usually, but I always try to test this paint both used thin and thick with some layering as well, and I do it off camera or directly on the painting, depending on the illustration I created for the video. A common thing that I noticed after trying several cheap quality gouache and affordable gouache as I paid only 2 euros per tube for my Mary fine gouache, which is very cheap, is that usually they don't have a good coverage, so you may have to rely on adding white to enhance the opacity and for layering more easily gouache. Usually they all perform nicely when used thin, but at the end of the day, any gouache is usable. You just have to work around the difficulties you may encounter with certain cheap gouache, which for me that I'm more familiar with gouache is not really a problem, but I can imagine for someone new to gouache, they might find tricky to use cheaper quality gouache as they don't give you the best and the easiest experience to learn how to use gouache, so this might discourage people to try gouache furthermore. But my Mary fine gouache in the specific, they aren't that bad quality. I personally don't use it often because I have other gouache brands that I prefer using more as these don't have a great covering power and they are a bit tricky to achieve a flat, opaque and even wash so they don't perform as the artist quality gouache I use but as I assume this is a student grade gouache it's understandable they are not artist quality but I do enjoy using them thin and more transparent or to mix these colors with other colors from other brands as I use a mix of different brands for my works to begin with. From the colors I have here, I like sap green, even though it's a darker pigment compared to the other sap green from other brands, which is interesting. I also like the lemon yellow and the white that is quite covering. And I think this is the first time I paint something only using my Mary fine gouache. I don't think I ever used them alone before. But it was an enjoyable experience, because once you mix these colors and start working with them, they can be usable for sure. But with my Mary fine gouache, you will likely have to rely on the white to enhance the opacity and covering power in the case you like to work with gouache more thick and if you overlay many layers. So yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to share with you about my Mary fine gouache. But before I end this video, can we just talk about how difficult it is to paint a flat color background when there are so many details to avoid? <laughs> it would have been easier to just paint the color background first for this piece, but then the color tone of the subjects would have been affected by the color background, so I was planning to paint the color background as the last thing but I decided to paint it after painting the frog and the hyacinth water lily flowers to test the layering ability of this paint. But yeah, layering was a bit tricky, indeed, as I anticipated with cheaper gouache, but not too difficult, and the result for this painting turned out nice. 
And fun fact, in Italian we call gouache tempera or also guazzo, but I grew up calling gouache tempera. So when I first opened my channel, as I wanted to share my videos in English to reach more people, at first I wasn't sure that the tempera I knew and I was using was called gouache in English. <laughs> Also because later on I discovered that Senelier, another brand, makes a tempera that is made with eggs. So for English speakers, I think tempera and gouache are two different things, but not for me. <laughs> but it's cool that for today's video I was able to show you a brand made in Italy that I've been using from some years and speak some Italian as well. I actually wanted to share this review sooner from a long time but I never took the time to work on it. But finally, here it is. So yeah, that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed and found this review helpful. Let me know if you have ever tried My Mary gouache or any paint medium from My Mary. Unfortunately, this is the last gouache review that I'm gonna share for a while because at the moment, I don't have any other gouache brands to review. <laughs> But for the time being, I will leave the playlist of all my gouache brands reviews I uploaded on my channel so far and I will leave the link in the description so you can check it out if you are interested. But there are still many brands for gouache that I want to try and make a review video but that's gonna be for the future. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!